Wap Point Paradox Episode 1 EA Play Live Event 2020 Was it some gas or was it some mid? Last of Us 2 And let the skate games begin <laughs> Paco Escobar, and you're watching the Bars and Joysticks channel. Thanks for joining Todd's for the very first episode we dropped on our channel. As we keep growing as a channel with more and more content we're providing with you guys, please follow all the links that are below in the description. And don't forget, hit that notification button too, man, so you know when we're dropping all these bangers. Even though COVID took away our beloved E3 this year, it's still been a busy, busy summer of games this year. Thursday, June 18th, 2020, was the live EA Play event that showed a showcase of all the games coming out from EA. Now, I'm bringing you highlights from the non-EA sports side just because talking sports games is going to be a whole nother video where sports games are going right now. And boy, Pac got some things to say about those things. Now, one of the first things I want to talk about for the EA Live Play event was Apex Legends, guys. Ding, 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 ding. Now, it's coming out free on the Switch. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What's next? What's next? Oh, it's crossplay. Hmm. Okay. Meaning, you can play with all the kawaii cosplay girls anywhere you want now. If you're on the Switch. If you don't, you're in your room. Jabroni. Cause he always sharing wisdom Every day's a gift that got me feeling like it's Christmas Feel like Gordon Ramsay cause I'm always in the kitchen Making all these friends, that's always been my mission We made for success since we were born and that's a given I just FaceTime Paco made me talk to his chicken Next, we have Sims 4 getting announced for Steam Wow, that's cool Cause we're talking big mods, okay? Big mods and memes can't wait to see those release. I'll we'll definitely be sharing those in my episodes. Are there any mods that you're looking forward to? Hey, what mods are we looking for? Maybe like some Supreme mods, you know, oh, yeah. some big Supreme, some big bait mods, I'm you know? For the, the Dragon Ball Z mods. The Dragon Ball Z mods that just mod it up, man. You know, we're all about the mods, man. <laughs> big mods, JoJo Bizarre mods, <laughs> Killer Queen mods. Can we get the Sailor Moon mods, please? <laughs> please. 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 Tokyo Ghoul mods, because I know you guys love them vampires and Sims. <laughs> Let's get it. Just make the Sims 4 into Code Vein. Yes, just make Sims 4 Code Vein 8. Just Please. <laughs> Please. Just put turn-based action in it and make us look like anime girls. That's all we want. That's all we want. That's all we want. Next, we have Star Wars Battlefront 8. Oops. I mean, Star Wars Squadron. Ladies and gentlemen, it got me. Now, is this going to be another cash grabber with the Star Wars name on it? Or is this going to be a banger, ladies and gentlemen? Is this going to be a banger? You know, it's right in the middle for me. Of course, EA. We're talking to big Sith Lords themselves. You know? Just saying, EA, because we're going to get into more of your dirty tricks, EA, later in this video. But to keep it on schedule, to keep it on schedule, what we're talking about right now. Now, I'm pretty excited about this game being a Star Wars fan, just because, one, you get to choose between being a Sith and being a big rebel. Obviously, we got campaign mode, multiplayer. But for all us diehards Star Wars fans that just been dying to feel like we've been in these cockpits, well, we got it with the first person action that you see in this video that I'm showing you right there. Can you see that? Now, we're going to zoom in specifically on something interesting here. Now. Do you see the bobble? Do you see the bobble? I cannot wait to get a Stormtrooper bobblehead on this game. Yes. Yes. That's all I want this game for, is to ride around with the Stormtrooper bobblehead. But no, honestly, man, flying around, seeing a lot of the Star Wars galaxy always is good with these graphics. and. Battlefront 2 was pretty chill, you know. I just got it like two weeks ago, so my pockets are good, guys. I'm very excited for this game to release. It's releasing October 2nd, 2020 on the Xbox One, PS4, and the PC. 
and it is crossplay, so it doesn't matter what system your homie has, he will feel the force. Next, we have the announcement of Skate 4. Yes, Skate 4. It's been 10 years since Skate 3 came out. 10 whole years. We're talking about, I look to look like this. We're talking about the hottest song at the time was G6, like a G6. Wow. Yes. But as excited I am for Skate 4, it's kind of fishy that Activision announced a couple months ago that Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 is getting a remaster coming out September 2nd on the Xbox One, PS4, and the PC. And now we're just getting Skate 4, and, and like Skate 4 has been asked for for a very, very long time. The market has been there, but it seems that, you know, the big Sith Lords at EA, they're like, yup. They're like, yup. We can make money from it, so drop it. We can make money from it. Now, skating games have been a dying genre. That's keep it 100. You know, the last successful selling game was Skate 3. Um, they have that weird PS3 game where it's Tony Hawk and they were like the controller with the skateboard and the wobbles and all that. And that didn't really do well. And yeah, but yeah, we like to forget about that game. But skate games, they look like they're back, baby. They look like they're back. Last but not least of us is the release of Last of Us 2. Now, this game has been highly anticipated. The last game came out in 2013 on a whole different console. Now, this game looks very, very beautiful. This drama in this game looks very, very intense in the storyline. Been hearing some stuff on the Twitter and the interweb about what's going down. No spoilers. But the big question, will the Poxter be playing this game? And it's a no. Now, before you guys get all crazy and get your panties in the bunch in the comic section, listen, it's only because I have too much going on in my rotation right now. Listen, I'm trying to make the goth kawaii, waifu, and code vein. And that's very time consuming. Also, I'm trying to pick up a title that I feel like that's very under the radar that's on sale. And that's Judgment. $25 until June 25th, 2020. You should pick it up. You should pick it up. Now to conclude this video, was EA Play 2020, was it gas or was it mid? It's straight gas, baby. Straight gas, straight gas. With the release of Star Wars Squadrons, that looks like a fun multiplayer. Some of my boys might be picking up and I get to play with some other dudes on different consoles. So I won't worry, worry about who has the game. So that's going to be fun. And also Skate 4 finally getting released. It's finally getting released. It's going to take a little bit of time, but just to see a graphic with Skate on it in the font. It's very relieving. Also, are you guys excited about Apex coming on the Switch? Do you think EA should drop a Skate 3 Remax on the Switch? Do you think we're going to get Skate 4 on the Switch? Come on, EA and Nintendo. Let's make that Supreme Louis Vuitton collab, man. Let's make the bangers happen. Also, are you excited about Last of Us 2? Did you download it at 12 a.m. on the dot just so you can download that bad boy and play it because you needed to? And what's some games you've been playing on quarantine? Some games that might be under the radar, some games that we might have missed. Please let me know in the comment section. Could be the next destination of the Law Point Paradox. I have to go, unfortunately, but I'll be back very, very soon. Stay healthy, guys. Stay safe. If you can, support your local comic book stores. This is Papa Escobar with the Bars and Joysticks channel. We create us. Wow.